In this problem, we're going to find the unit tangent vector given this vector valued function, and we're going to evaluate it at t equals 5. So this is the formula for the unit tangent vector. So all we have to do is use the formula. So we'll start by taking the derivative of r. So r prime of t equals, so taking the derivative of the first component, we get 3t squared i hat plus, this will be 12t j hat. And at this point, we don't have to differentiate any further. We have our prime, and that's really the only thing we need. So we can go ahead and plug in 5 now if you like. So let's go ahead and do that. So our prime of 5, this is going to be equal to 3 times 5 squared i hat plus 12 times 5 j hat. So this is equal to... So 3 times 25 is 75 i hat, plus, and then 12 times 5 is 60 j hat. All right, so now all we have to do is find the magnitude of this. So the magnitude of r prime of 5 is going to be equal to the square root, and then we're going to square these things, square the components, so 75 squared plus 60 squared. I'm going to definitely use my calculator. Oh, good, here it is. It's weird I didn't have it. So 75 squared plus 60 squared is 9,225. And if we try to take the square root of that, I don't know if we'll get something nice. We don't. We don't. So um, you could probably, let's see, 9,225 divided by 25 is 369, so you could probably do some work and like make like a factor tree and stuff, but I am just going to vote to leave it like this. <laughs> so let's leave it like that. And so the unit tangent vector is going to be equal to this divided by the magnitude. So basically you just divide each of the components by that. So it'll be 75 over the square root of 9225 i hat plus 60 over the square root of 9225 j hat. And sometimes you get numbers even bigger than this, like 47,256. Like you get really big numbers. Um, when in doubt, just leave it. Just leave it like that. It should be, should be okay. So this is the unit tangent vector. So what is this? Well, if r is a position vector, then the derivative is velocity. So this is the velocity vector, except we're dividing by its magnitude. In other words, we're normalizing the velocity vector. We're turning it into a unit vector. Remember, when you divide by the magnitude of a vector, you're normalizing it. You're turning it into a unit vector. And a unit vector is a vector that has length 1. So this is basically the velocity vector, but it only has uh, length 1. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.